Good morning, folks. We've got space weather impacting the Earth. We'll take a look at a NOVA study that forgets the past, one on solar forcing, and another confirming a major discovery of the past. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find that things were pretty quiet up there until just the last hour before the show. We took an M-class solar flare just a bit ago, and of course there's the big corona hole turning across central heliographic longitudes. The impacts to Earth have begun as well. The solar wind shows we've taken a couple interplanetary shock waves the last day, and they are amplifying geomagnetic conditions as seen by several magnetometers on the ground and on satellites like the ones on GOES. Big disruption to the field from these events. We are taking the latest impact just here this morning. Geomagnetic storms are expected today and are expected to continue into the upcoming week since the corona hole stream will soon impact right on the heels of these CME shock waves. Eyes on the aurora the next couple of days, and also it was the incoming sunspot on the south where the M-class flare occurred. We'll be watching it for more activity today. Up first in the articles is this one on nova isotopes found on Earth. I truly applaud the study of those isotopes in general, the ones that say previous nova events have impacted our planet, but I prefer they remember the shoulders on which they stand. While they discuss how far away a star would need to be to have its isotopes reach us on the nova dust, they forget the most important study in their field, the one suggesting they actually can't reach us. Magnetic dusty pinballs refers to the magnetic trapping of the dust grains holding those isotopes with Within the supernova remnant. Some of the nova isotopes they find on Earth would have decayed long before they ever reached here, but it's more important to remember they probably can't get here because of the magnetic fields. This is according to the only study that actually includes those magnetic fields in their analysis. So observers, where did the nova level isotopes on Earth come from then? Comment below for the new viewers. Up next, we've got another excellent study on solar forcing of precipitation patterns, about 10 of those in just the last three months, and it is always excellent to see them fortifying the science and the concept that the sun works the weather. Lastly, folks, you may recall those fossilized footprints found in white sands that suggested humans were in North America 20 to 23,000 years ago, rather than the 16,000 years ago maximum that was previously believed. The scientists went back, found more pristine samples, and they all tell the same story. Humans were here just after the Lake Mungo excursion and last glacial maximum 24,000 years ago, pushing back once again the history of here. Folks, just two more days to pre-order our new book, still slated to arrive to us around Thanksgiving and ship out at the end of the month. Only way to get it before the holidays is to get in on the pre-order. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.